and welcome to the Wealthy Lala Show with myself, Lori Larson. Today is episode 178-2. How's it going today? I know for myself, and today I got a little bit of what I call a piano tied to my butt. And uh, yeah, so, uh, and I was very excited about recording this show. So I'm really grateful that I have this Um, you know, these fun things like this that I do in my life that, uh, I get to choose and show up for. So yeah. Um, Oh, I'm just going to put some essential oils on just a sec. Mm -mm. This one is from young living. It's called build your dream. And, uh, mm, I don't know. Can you guys smell it? (laughs) Okay. Well, just imagine. Mm -mm. What does it have in it? Um, I'm not sure if it shows. Oh, yes, it does here. Oh, it's got lots of things in it. Uh, Frankincense, lavender, holy mackerel, ylang ylang, blue cypress, Uh, Melissa, Idaho blue spruce, balsam Canada, Royal Hawaiian sandalwood, holy coriander, tangerine, black pepper. Bergamont. Um, wow. <laughs> there's a couple more too. Anyways. Ah, there's something about these oils. I don't know if I always noticed like that they actually create a difference or not, but I sure love the smell of them. That's, oh. Mm. So we're infusing this oil into the reading, the energy of the oil into the reading. And I did draw the three cards. I was shuffling them. One fell out and then two more stood out. So I have three cards in front of me. Now today we're doing the Work Your Light Oracle Cards by Rebecca Campbell. (sighs) So, you know, what's your intention or your target? Do you have a question? Just a general reading? You're just going to listen for whatever you hear that stands out for you? Is it a particular card? Is it all the cards? Or do you have something specific that you'd like to know about a specific area? Okay. All right. Mm. I know for me, like, uh, I don't think I've told you guys this. I don't think so. But you know how I talk about Dr. Gerald Dispenza all the time, right? Well, he has uh, these advanced workshops that he calls and you go and you literally get immersed in his work for like seven days. Well, in 18 days, I am going to be going to one. I actually fly in 17 days. It is in Niagara Falls um, on the U.S. side. Ah, so incredibly grateful. I'm so looking forward to it. So anyways, yeah. So my thing that I'm looking at towards today is one of the things that I've noticed is I spent a lot of time in my past and resisting to my past. Like in my past, I did. Now I feel I'm kind of like neutral. I'm not like really, what do you call it? Um, like I'm not really uh, in my past anymore, but I don't really know how to be in my future and create my future, which is a really huge, big thing in his work. So you know, he basically, it's like if you can't get into the energy of the future you desire to create, and be it and feel it like you already have it with joy and gratitude, um, it makes, it, it's, it's not going to come to you. So like seriously, okay? <laughs> so, so you want to be and become the kind of person that has the future you desire to create. Like, wow. So that is what I'm bringing into the cards today, okay? So we're going to see what shows up with that. So I'm going to start with the left card. So the left card says, yes, just say yes. Ah, wow. I love it. Mm, Okay. I got to find, oh, this is one of those books that doesn't have them in order. Okay. Like they're not in alphabetical order or something like that. So I've got to go through the little, whatchamacallit, the index. Okay. So the card, yes. Oh God, this is so funny. I wish you guys could see this page. (laughs) The whole entire two pages is covered with yeses. 
like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's 90 on one page. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and one hundred and sixty yeses on the other one. So don't overthink it. Just say yes. And you know, with regards to myself, and maybe this reads for you, like with whatever you're asking about, you know, don't overthink it. Just say yes. What I'm really getting is that. Uh, for me, it's just keep moving towards the future, keep moving towards the future, keep building that muscle that for me, uh, creating a future has my creating future um, <laughs> energies uh, muscle has been atrophied. And so I am on a, um, what do you call that? I am going to the gym <laughs> to work, work on that muscle. All right. Okay. So the second card. Mm, the ever unfolding rose cracked open. It's happening to you. No, it's happening for you, not to you. Oh, this one sounds really interesting. I haven't seen this card before. The ever unfolding rose. Okay, I'm trying to find it in the index here, people. Oh, is there more cards? Maybe? No. Cheapers. I'm seriously, I'm not finding this one. Do, 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 do. No, I mean, seriously. Okay. That's, that's very interesting. Why, why would you, why would you? Okay. Uh, just thinking about having a card that's actually not in the book. Is it possible? <laughs> No, I am seriously. Okay, I'm go like I know. Sorry, you guys. Do do do. Okay, do do. I am. Um, hmm. Ser I really don't feel. I don't see this card in here. Oh, there it is. Oh, how did I miss it? Okay, this is interesting. The first two cards that have been pulled were from the, um, oh, there it is, the confirmation cards. Oh, so interesting. So the first two, um, there's four cards, and it's, yeah, okay, this is kind of blowing my mind, you guys. Oh, my gosh. Okay, you guys, I, as I was flipping through the book, trying to find the one card, uh, this other card sort of just started yelling at me from the pages and it said you're already doing it. So there is three, there's four cards in the first suit, which is called your confirmation cards, the ever unfolding rose, no, yes, and you're already doing it. And three cards, three cards are from this confirmation, the ever unfolding ro yeah, rose, yes, and you're already doing it. Oh, I don't know about you guys, but with regards to my question, this is just such a wonderful boost for me to know that, you know, yes, just keep saying yes. It's cracked open and just stop overthinking it. Keep facing my true north and that I'm already doing it. Holy crap. This is so crazy, you guys. Wow. You know, there's like 52 or something cards in this thing. And we get all three from out of a thing of four. Like, Ah, that's, that's just crazy. Okay. So cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. So this is, I'm going to read now the thing. The challenge of life is to keep your heart open when you most want to close it, to let life crack you open, to open through hurt and loss, to allow what's falling away to fall away. Oh, for me, that's the, definitely the past and my old habits. Being human is a courageous act. A life well lived is full of losses, tragedies, and as much triumphs and adventures. Wherever you find yourself at the moment, life is coaxing, coaxing you to keep your heart open, no matter how much it hurts, to con continually unfold, to let life crack you open. Perhaps you're, you're going through a difficult time right now. Instead of cursing the difficulty, see it as a blessing, to open yourself up to the truth that perhaps as... Hard as it may be, life is happening 
for you, not to you. And one day in the not too distant future, you may just bless the thing that broke you down and cracked you open because the world needs you open. Now is the time to go gently, to treat yourself like a tender, sweet baby, to wrap yourself in a blanket and trust that the mother has you cradled in her arms. The seas may not all be smooth sailing, but you are safe, you are held. One day, not too far from today, you will look back at the transformation and be blown away by the poetry of life. Everything is going to be okay. And then there's a, just a little message with it that says, everything is going to be okay. Let it crack you open. Oh, wow. Oh, gosh. This is like giving me chills. Okay. So here's the third card. So the card on the right. So the first card on the left was yes. The middle card was the ever unfolding rose cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. That's the one. Um, that I, there's the middle card. I'm also really getting from that card too. It's, it's like anywhere there's hard times in your life or your past has been hard to let yourself crack open and be willing to, you know, receive all the beauty that life has for you. Like not be afraid and, and keep putting barriers up or anything. Oh, this is kind of cool. I just looked out my window. Oh, and it's like, there's, almost like angel wings out my window. Oh, it's like a big, beautiful angel. Oh, if you guys, oh, that is so cool. Oh my God, this is going to make me cry, you guys. Oh, this is credible. Wow. Okay, third card. You're already doing it. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. Do not question things so much. You are on the right track. You are facing the right way. Stop overthinking it. It's happening. And you are closer than you think. You are exactly where you need to be. Things are moving at perfect speed. Do not rush it. Now is not the time to be impatient. Now is the time to walk steady. There is no rush. What you are building is being built. What you have planted soon will blossom. With every day, a new brick is being laid. You have come a long way. The foundations are steady. Now all that is needed for you is to trust and keep walking forward. If a thought that things should be moving faster enters your head, this is just your ego comparing your rising to someone else. Comparison is not your friend. Stay in your lane. Water your own garden knowing that your time to bloom will come soon. You are already doing it. Keep going. Ah, oh, wow. That, seeing those cards, you guys, or that, those clouds, that's kind of blowing me away too. I, I, I'm just, I'm kind of in a little bit of awe. I was, uh, when I'd gotten up this morning, I was avoiding, uh, if you call it, of avoiding doing my meditation. Um, and I was judging myself for procrastinating with it. And I was aware that there was a lightness for me in my world when it was almost like, you know, go do, do your podcast first. And I was like, no, no, I should do my meditation first. And I ended up, you know, choosing to have some breakfast, have a nice tea, and then now do this podcast. And I'm so aware of the contribution that this, this card reading has been for me and for what I'm going to be, the energy that I'm going to be when I choose my meditation now. Oh, you guys, if I, oh my God, please, 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 oh, if I could encourage anything to anyone who's listening, is please, please, please don't judge yourself. Don't judge yourself for what you do do. If you could not judge yourself for what you don't do, if you could just be in the space that there's something else possible, that maybe you know something, like when you don't say someone to, something to someone in a conversation and you leave and you're like, oh, I should have said something. What were you maybe aware of that that wouldn't have created greater for you to say? 
you know, like for me, I was starting to judge myself, you know, I like, why didn't I just get up and do my meditation? Well, what if the universe was aware? Like Lori, if you come and do your, you know, your podcast, it's going to contribute so much to when you choose your meditation after that. And it did. Oh my God. Like these cards are just, just, just that. (laughs) Gosh. Oh, you guys, I just am so grateful for this podcast, you know, and if you do know of anyone that you think would have fun listening to me talk stuff, (laughs) share these readings. I'd love it if you would share it. It would mean a lot to me. And that's okay if you don't too. And if you do, that'd be awesome too. (laughs) I love it. So I'm so grateful. Thank you for listening. Have an amazing rest of your day. Oh,